What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have market talk as per usual. So we're going to go over the market, all that good stuff as per usual. And yeah, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and all of that good stuff because it's a banger, bro. We're going to go over MT methods, we're going to go over the market, what you guys should be doing with your cards, what you invest in, pretty much everything. Before we do get into the video, make sure to like, sub, Follow my Twitter down below, bro. We're mad close to hitting the like goal and retweet goal on my giveaway for 100,000 MT. Make sure to go smash the like button on this video. Let's get 120 likes. Go on my Twitter. Follow me on there. And make sure to hit that retweet and like button on that. And also, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yeah, bro, today is a solid day because looks like the market actually might go up a lot. So if you did invest, first off, if you bought Ben Simmons, you're an idiot. If you bought Ben Simmons for 1 million MT, you are literally one of the dumbest people, persons, people, whatever I know because dumbest kids I know because bro, you took the fattest L. Like, you never buy anything at a million MT. You know why? Because first of all, people buy MT. If you want MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor down below. And straight up, bro, he's not worth a mil. Um, he's going to be around 600K for a while. Yeah, he's a sick-ass car, but he's not worth a mil. Um, right now, man, market is honestly interesting. Really, if you want to invest in any cards, I wouldn't now. You had your chance yesterday. But the thing, some things I noticed is that um, LeBron dropped, which I figured. I sold him for 350. He's now 290. Um, some are selling. Wow, that one just sold with, with the shoes. Um, if you guys did get Iguodala for the cheap price yesterday, it's not a bad time to sell. Um, really, bro? Right now, I don't know what to tell you. Like straight up, I would just continue doing what you're doing, sniping, whatever. I'm honestly just gonna go over some snipe filters, some methods. Some methods that I were actually using yesterday. All I know is that I feel like Iguodala is gonna go up in price. Um, I f I feel like <clears throat> I feel like he's too good of a card to be that cheap. You feel me? So for forty something k, I got mine for forty k on the snipe. If you want to pick some of these up, it's kind of risky, but he's so cheap. He has really good defense and offense for forty something k. And honestly, he is a ninety eight overall. I feel like he might go up to seventy k. I don't know though, but if you could somehow snipe this card, I definitely think his value will go up. He might not be a bad card to stock on for around 40 something K. These packs are gone in about five days. So honestly, I believe he will drop a little bit. I know 2K is definitely going to drop some fire content Monday since there is no moments. I feel like content's going to be dropping frequently, like a lot. So that's another thing to talk about. But yeah, right now, man. If you did get a lot of investments like yesterday, I know a ton of diamonds are cheap. Ami Lance was mad cheap too. If you did get any of those, bro, like make sure to just simply sell because you never know what's going on. Like since the coronavirus is out, no NBA, whatever, 2K is kind of just chilling in their office. They're better drop some fire. Like they drop content Tuesday. They drop content Monday. You don't know what they have in stock. So since then you don't know what to have in stock, I would recommend selling your team if you want. Um, you can sell your team tomorrow, whatever. I just feel like we didn't really get March Madness content. I know we did get that huge update with the token market update and stuff, but we still are due for March Madness content. And honestly, I feel like they have something even bigger in plan for this week. I might sound crazy, but that's just me. Like, market still hasn't really crashed to its max potential. And let's be real. The market hasn't crashed to its max potential, which it really barely... It crashed a little bit today. That is a huge snipe. Whoever got that for 133 is goaded. That is the biggest snipe I've seen. You could sell that car for like two something. That Are you serious? All right. Well, that, that kid is goaded. Um, 
I would definitely try bit sniping right now. 146k. Wow. I am so jelly. I'm bidding on this, bro. This card is goaded. I'll take it for 137. Right now, with the market being like kind of dead, like there's really nothing going on. Obviously, the snipe filters are cool and all, but like you like to do it when there's a market crash. I haven't seen a market crash in a really long time. That's kind of bad news for us, guys. If you did sell your cards though, market crashed enough for you to make MT and buy them back. But all I'm saying is, with that being said, the market is so due to crash. When it does crash, you must thank me because all my MT methods I have showed you, all my snipe fillers I've showed you are going to pay off in general. Like you are going to make so much MT once the market crashes. Like as you can see, I pretty much bought like a low budget baller team. Not, It's really not budget baller at all, actually. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> like obviously this team could be a lot better but it's uh, it's obviously a really good team it's definitely not one of the best in the game but this team will get me by games like if i'm playing 12 and 0 this team right here will get me by games so i keep my mt there like i know a lot of you guys don't have a lot of mt but to make millions of mt and thousands of mt is gonna take a lot of hours it's gonna take a lot of grind so like you ask me where do i get all my mt Bro, I've been playing the game since September, bro. What do you... That's a snipe. I'm not going to get it, though, because my... Yeah. Oh, we got it. First off, if you want to make a lot of MT, all I'm going to say is this Ami filter's killer. If you want to make, like, a 1,000 MT per minute, this, this Ami filter's straight killer. You can't miss on this filter. Yeah, obviously, sometimes it's slow. I'm just saying, this is simply the best filter for you guys to make MT. Like, that is all. Like, that is it. Just use this filter right here. Another one that we did get. So right there, another snipe. That's about 1,700 MT made in about 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes, what am I saying? In about 30 seconds. This snipe filter is the best snipe filter in the game. Like another one, give me that. How'd I miss that? I was mega quick. But yeah, 1,500 MT, I with this card. You could get 10K, make 15K. Like, it's quick, bro. You got 10K MT. 10K MT is toilet paper, bro. It's scraps. Supposedly, we're running out of toilet paper. I don't think so. But, bro, I'm telling you right now, man, if you got 10K MT, make MT, this filter is the best filter. Not only that, if you guys don't know, this method, I show you, this is my favorite method in the game to make MT. If you see diamonds, like, perfect example, Muhammad Abdul Rauf is spammed on the auction. There's tons ending at right now. So, what you want to do, you want to go over to his card. I'm going to show you what I mean because this, this is goaded. This is the best MT making method in the game. Hopefully it works out. So you could see a ton over here. This one's about itself for 3K. Bid snipe. If you don't know what bid sniping is, bro, 3,900, put it up to 40, 40, whatever. He probably sells for like five, six, seven. So you want to just pretty much outbid everybody. You're a step ahead of whoever's going to outbid you. So then you do that. And yeah, all I know is that when I did drop that bid sniping video, this thing, like it went viral. It probably got like 7K views. And everybody did it, and it kind of destroyed it. So sometimes it may not work. Like that kid I just showed you, just bid snipe Kawhi for 230. So W for him. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get this real quick. We're gonna see if we can get this bid snipe for you in the video. Watch me get out, but I'll be so tight. Like I said, I'm telling you, bro. Ever since I released that video, it has been chaos. Like straight up, I literally. It's good with some cards. It's good with low-key diamonds. Like, since Muhammad Abdul Rauf is a new diamond, it's going to be harder. You want to do it low-keys. Like, I would say Chauncey Billups, Donovan Mitchells, Old KD, whatever, bro. Just the newer cards, the prime cards, are going to be really hard to do. Just got to do it on the low-key cards and make that MT. But, yeah. Honestly, guys, that's really all I got for the video. All I'm going to say is, bro, just get your MT up. Yo, Giannis just over 458. Are you serious, bro? I could have sold mine for a mil. I'm so dumb. What am I going to do? I pull them. It's a W anyways. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Just some tips for you guys as per usual. I'm only going to drop one video today. We're going to probably drop two to three tomorrow. I'm just trying to enjoy my night, bro. I work today. I just got off. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. And make sure to go follow my Twitter. Make sure to go like that. Retweet that tweet. You'll see it has 90 likes and 70 retweets. Something like that. Go freaking retweet it. Make it go viral. We'll give away 100K. I'm thinking about giving away 100K to one person or 20K to five or 25K to four. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace.